So I have a bit of a problem. I live back in the woods and it gets very dark here at night. Whenever I have friends or family over, they always complain that they can't see the edge of the driveway when they're backing up or backing down the driveway. It doesn't help that my driveway hooks, but everybody always complains that they can't see the edge of the driveway. So about a year ago, I started thinking, what could I do to help these people out? What could I do to correct the problem? This is what I tried. I installed these about a year ago. These are just simple driveway stakes with little round reflectors on the top. I have two problems with these. First problem is that you stake these right in the ground and it's just another thing to weed whack later on, you know, because the, the lawnmower can't get the grass directly up against this post, so I'm not a huge fan of these for that reason. Second reason I dislike these markers is that if the person backing up or backing down the driveway doesn't see these markers, then it's a good chance that these are going to rub right into the side of their car, scratch their paint, and if they completely miss the marker, then they're going to break the fiberglass pole that these reflectors are on. And they are pretty difficult to see, I will say that. I'm not a huge fan of those reflectors. So, a month ago, I went back online and started doing some more research. What could a solution be to my problem? And I came across these lights, and I think they're going to solve the problem. What are these lights? Well, these lights are solar-powered LED driveway marker lights, but they can also be used for decks and patios. So these lights are made by a company by the name of Seedenlar, and I reached out to the company and I said, hey look, I have a YouTube channel, I have a problem, would you be willing to send out some lights in exchange for me doing a review video on these lights and an installation video? And they said, sure, so here we are, they sent me out 20 lights and this should be an interesting video. So first things first, I think I should do an unboxing video, I'll show you what it's like unboxing these. The box, nothing special, company name on there, made in China. Also has their contact information in case you have a product with a light, like a company that stands behind their product. In the box, four lights. Every second light is bubble wrapped. First one was bubble wrapped, that one is not. Second one bubble wrapped. Last one is not. And they also include some mollies and a couple mounting screws, which I won't be using any of those for my driveway. And just a really simple information pamphlet. So there's a lot of things I like about these lights off the bat and a few things I dislike about these. So let's first off talk about the construction. Now on Amazon, they say that these lights can withstand up to 20 tons of pressure and I'm very skeptical about that. 20 tons of pressure is 40,000 pounds. If you were to put 40,000 pounds of pressure on these, I don't think they would survive. I think that's over advertising. I'm not gonna test it, but I think it's over advertising and here's why. The construction of these lights consists of an aluminum alloy around the perimeter of these lights. Top, you have your solar panel and that's protected by a piece of clear plastic. Lenses are clear plastic and on the bottom of these lights you have this white plastic. There's nothing really solid in the middle that I can see. You know, it, it's really just all plastic and empty space in the middle of these lights. Like, if there was aluminum supporting the center of these lights, then I'd say they probably could withstand a lot more weight, but if I took my two thumbs, I'm gonna take my two thumbs and push down on this clear plastic where the solar panel is, I can feel flexation. I can feel my thumbs sink down, maybe a, a millimeter or two. So, we're definitely gonna take these outside in a moment, run them over a couple times with the 250 and see how they do, but I don't think they're gonna withstand 20 tons. What I do like about these lights, though, the aluminum housing is rounded. Now, when I reached out to the company, they did tell me that they had more modern revised versions of these lights, but the reason I told them I didn't want those lights was because the newer version of these lights kind of have a step up. They're not gradually rounded over. They're, they're just like 90 degree up and then over, which if you're doing a sidewalk, but you know, then again, even on a sidewalk, like if somebody were to stub their toe in there, they could easily trip on that as opposed to something like this with the rounded edge. It at least gives them a chance to have their boot kind of like round over these lights. So take it for what it is. The reason I like these rounded edges for the driveway in particular is because wintertime when I'm going to shovel and if I hit these lights with a snow shovel, then the snow shovel kind of deflect over. Also, if I hit these lights with the snow blower, I feel like these could just about withstand the edge of a snowblower kind of bumping up over these. I do want to throw this out there too. If you snow plow your driveway or if you have a snow plower come out and plow your driveway, I'm a little bit skeptical of how well these would hold up 
if they came in contact with the cutting edge of a snowplow. I think that they would either rip up out of your driveway or I, I think you just do a lot of damage. I, I really don't think it's any question because you have a steel cutting edge coming in contact with, you know, 16 eighth inch piece of aluminum. I, I, I think it's going to do a lot of damage to these. All right, so how do you turn these lights on? Well, if you flip them upside down, there's a little push button, on off button, press that. And there's a little photovoltaic sensor up here by the solar panel and that basically senses when it's dark out and it tells the light to turn on. So if I take my hand, cover the solar panel, simulate darkness, the lights come on. As you can see, there's one diode for each lens. So a total of four diodes. And I gotta say, I'm pretty excited. These are gonna look really cool on the edge of the driveway. And they are waterproof. Another thing that I do like about these lights as well is they take one AAA rechargeable battery and according to the instruction manual here, you can replace that battery, which that's really cool because a lot of these other solar lights, once they go, they're kind of done. But with these lights, you can take them apart and replace the battery if you need. I feel like we should take apart one light, just kind of see what it looks like inside, how well it's constructed, so that's interesting. So the aluminum body is kind of one piece I don't know, you tell me, you think that could withstand 20 tons? Uh, I don't think so. So the rest of the light appears to be one kind of sealed piece, six screws, so let's take that apart. Let's continue disassembling this light. So this lens, I feel like, is the weakest part of the light. If this cracks, then you're gonna get water in here and then that's ultimately gonna reduce the lifespan of your light. But what I am seeing that I do really like is there's an O-ring seal along where this lens sits in the housing. I do like that. And I think if we lift up the solar panel, yep, there is our AAA battery. So if this battery ever fails, you can just pull this light apart, put a new battery in there, and you'll be good to go. Manufacturer recommends that you replace that battery once a year for optimal performance. Has to be a rechargeable battery as well. bit scratched up but nothing's cracked I gotta say I'm a little bit impressed do they still work oh that one works wow they both still work impressive all right, here's my method for installation now. First thing you're gonna need is some type of hammer drill with a 5 30 seconds masonry bit. Get your light to where you want it. Then in the two mounting holes, make a little pilot. And drill your holes. Next, take your Tapcon screws. You're gonna need a quarter inch driver. Simply screw this thing right on the driveway. Beautiful. I don't think that's going anywhere. These lights turned on just about 10 minutes ago now. And I gotta say, they look absolutely fantastic. It's gonna make backing up and down this driveway so much easier. Also looks like a landing strip. Pretty darn cool. That's what the light looks like, illuminated. It's got a reasonable throw on the front and the back, and I like that the top's also illuminated. It's pretty darn cool. And that concludes this video on the Seedenlar LED solar driveway marker lights. I'll leave a link in the description below if you're interested.
gotta say, pretty darn pleased with these lights so far.